In this video, I want to take a look at five Oculus Quest 2 tips and tricks that every beginner user should know. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Sal, voice of the Wii Deem channel. We review, we test, we game, a community for gamers. And if you'd like to watch me spend my money so you don't waste yours, hit that subscribe button. Number five. As you all know, the Oculus Quest 2 has what they call the Guardian, which is in place to keep you from bumping into things around you, and this barrier is defined by you. If you step out of the Guardian, you get what is called the pass-through, which looks like a black and white static view. Wouldn't it be cool if you can activate this at any time? Well, you can. By heading into the settings, scroll down to the experimental features on the left, and then scroll down to the bottom right menu there you can activate the tap feature for the pass-through wish it wasn't a static view but still comes in handy number four a feature that is cool but just not there yet is the hand tracking which can be activated by once again entering the settings menu click devices from the left menu then hands and controllers on the right and then turn the hand tracking on by clicking the toggle to the right the tracking feature does work but it does lose tracking of the hands from time to time which at some point it completely lost tracking of my right hand and it takes several times to select something at times in the menu maybe with a little more time i will get the hang of it but hopefully it will get better in the near future Number three. Another small but cool feature is the visual environments, which is your central hub where you are brought to when powering on the headset and where the main menu can be found. Think of it as your virtual room or home. You can change this by heading to the settings menu, scroll down the left menu to you see virtual environments, and click one of the environments to the right, which will download. Sadly, there's only a few and I hope more are going to be added in the future, but currently the Cyber City is my favorite. Number two. A neat and useful feature is resetting your view in the VR space. You might have taken off the headset, put it back on, and found yourself on the side or behind the action or menu and decided to turn to reposition yourself, but why? Let the Oculus 2 do all the work by facing the controller in front of you and hold the Oculus button for about 4-5 to five seconds. The view will be repositioned in front of you and this method does work in game. Number 1 the number one Oculus Quest 2 tip and trick is capturing gameplay. Capturing gameplay on the Oculus Quest 2 is easy. Capturing gameplay footage with commentary, not so easy, and it's a shame. On the main tool panel of the Quest 2, you will find what looks like a share button, and in this menu, you will find four options. The record button, which, well, records footage take a photo go live and cast now if you are looking to record video and you don't have the link cable for pc you can use the record option in the quest 2 but weirdly it doesn't record your voice through the built-in mics and it's a 10 24 by 10 24 aspect ratio which is perfect for facebook or instagram but not hd video now you can record your voice through external headphones hooked up into your cell phone and use an app such as HD voice recorder which I did here all right, as you can see, the headphones are working. I mean, the audio quality in it is probably... But you will have to line the voice up in post in an editing software later. The other option I was tinkering around with was casting the Oculus Quest 2 to my NVIDIA Shield, recording directly from there in 1080p. But remember, the quality will all depend on your internet connection. But I believe it was of decent quality on my stock ISP router. Now, this method wouldn't record my voice either, so I had to use an external software source again and edit it in later. Now there's five tips that every new Oculus Quest user should know. If you have any questions or you want to see a tutorial on something else, let me know in the comments down below. If you found the information in this video to be of value, please hit the thumbs up and consider sharing amongst friends and the rest of your social media. And as always, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button. Hey guys, don't forget 
that the products discussed in any of my videos are always in the description down below if you're interested in checking any of them out or helping me make the videos just a little bit better every time. Also, don't forget to check out one of our other videos. What are you waiting for? One, two, they're there. Click one of them. Three.